So ever since Microsoft shut down the Avatar store on March 2nd of 2025, it's come a lot harder to install and browse through all the Avatar items. Uh, there's a complete archive of 12,000, no not 12,000, 1,200 items out there. But that's not exactly complete. There's about over 20,000 items. And there's a complete raw archive, which only contains the raw files used to compile the Avatar items. So this isn't really useful to most people. That's only useful for the hash IDs. So what I've done is I've made my own archive uh, consisting of the raw files under avatar items raw. Uh, I'm only saving the icons, the binary, the XMLs, since that's all that's needed to make the uh, avatar item. Since the other files don't exactly get used, like the um, category art you can see we're not missing any icons or anything like this so if you want you really could write something and compile all your own avatar items with just this folder but I've uh, done that for you under avatar items compiled you can see this is every single uh, item from my raw archive uh, all compiled uh, these are ready to be drag and dropped and used on an Xbox but you just need to change your XUID because right now the default XUID is 00090000 within empty last four bytes. So an XUID is normally eight bytes. Uh, the last four bytes are the identifying part. So an XUID is always going to begin with 00090000 and it's going to end with uh, different four bytes. But that's beyond the scope of this video. I'll show you how to change the XUID with our mass XUID changer tool but that's for later on. And you can see it's the same thing in avatar item uh, compiled sorted. It's uh, all compiled folders, uh, files, just sorted like it's the raw folder to make it easier to understand what you're putting on in case you didn't want to install every single item onto your Xbox. Uh, like I said before, these also have a default XUID, so you're going to change that with your XUID tool. Uh, Pretending that I have my XUID set onto it, how you'd install these is go into Horizon, uh, you go into your avatar items, then you inject your file, and I want to inject this Forever Alone mask. So I would like to, yes, I would like a Forever Alone mask. And hold on, and you can see Forever Alone mask. So, in order to use these two folders on your Xbox, because remember, this Forever Alone mask is not going to work, it doesn't have my XUID, you're going to want to use our mass XUID changer tool. And in order to do that, you're going to need to grab your XUID. So let's do that real quick. You can see, I'm going to enter my gamer tag here. It's going to be blurred out on the video, but you're going to want to use this site. I'll link it in the description. CXKES.me slash Xbox slash XUID. It's like cakes. Or you could also use Horizon for this. Uh, you go to uh, Profile Mods and then Account Editor. And you go to your profile on your drive and go into this folder, FFFE. 0 to 7 D1. This contains your profile data. And you'll see when we open that up, we get my XUID up here, which is also going to be blurred. So we're going to change every single XUID in Avatar Items compiled. And after that, I'll show you how to change a singular XUID on a file. So let's say I want to drag and drop everything in Avatar Items compiled into my Xbox. What I'm going to want to do is run a mass XUID a changer, top high, and you'll see it's going to ask us for two modes. Right now we're going to use FB mode, which stands for file batch. All right, so we're going to type in FB, and then we're going to enter in the path to our folder. So we want to change the XUID of every single file in avatar items compiled. So we're going to give it a path to avatar items compiled. And then we're going to give it our XUID. Uh, let me get mine again. Uh, 
All right, and we can enter in multiple XUIDs. This goes up to 15 in case you want to have this work on multiple profiles. And then you'll see it is uh, swapping the XUID of every single file and avatar items compiled. Uh, in a bit, you'll see it's actually going to swap up on here. This takes a minute since there's a lot of files to change the XUID of. So give it a bit of time, as long as this uh, console keeps on running. Yeah, and you'll see that my XUID just changed in this file. So once this is done, every single file should be ready to drag and drop into uh, your content 16.0 uh, folder. Uh, you could do this through neighborhood or through a USB. It's up to you. Uh, I prefer to put it on my USB for a faster transfer because it would take forever over neighborhood. But it is possible. You can do it through neighborhood. Okay, and it's done. So you'll see every single file in here now contains your XUID if you open it up in the hex editor. But that's only if you want to confirm it. So what you want to do now is copy all of these folders. All right, copy. And since I'm using my USB, I'm going to go to my USB content in the 16.0 folder. Remember, this can be done through neighborhood. As long as you're going to your content 16.0 folder and then paste. And this may take a bit of time since this is about three gigabytes of files. All right, so you'll see my transfer finished. I already have some avatar items installed, hence the uh, 322 files replaced. Uh, I could just skip these since I already have them installed. And that's that for uh, installing every single avatar item onto your USB. And let's plug this into the Xbox real quick. Oh, let me restart my Elgato software. There it is. And now you'll see when we go to our avatar closet. It's going to take a bit of time to load since we just installed 20,000 items. But it'll load in a bit. Just give it a minute or two. Yeah, this is where it has to load. So just set your controller down. You're going to be waiting about a minute or two. It's going to take some time. <laughs> oh my god. And there you go. It's loaded. You can see we have a bunch of pages of shirts, a bunch of hats. Uh, they didn't really make many accessories, so there's only going to be like 30 pages max on each accessory. And yeah, you can see we have everything installed. Now I'm going to show you how to install the individual files from the uh, sorted folder. Let me plug my USB 
back into my computer. And Horizon's gonna take a good minute to load for me since uh, I kind of just installed 20,000 items. So I'll give it a bit. In the meantime, while Horizon's doing its thing, what we're gonna do is go back to our folder and go to compile sorted and decide which item we want. So I'm feeling like installing I don't know the grumpy cat hat or the grumpy cat animation so we're gonna need a path to this with well we're gonna need a path to our file An easy way to make that is just copy the name go to the top here put a slash and then paste it and then copy that and you have the path to the file like that and then once again you're gonna want to run the mass XUID changer and this time, we're going to put it in path mode, which is P. You'll see we pasted our path there. And I'm going to put in my XUID again. Ah, i got to grab it again. Ah, fuck it. We're just going to put in a bullshit XUID. Ah, let's do 9876543232. That would be a valid one. Uh, XUIDs are in hexadecimal, by the way. So it goes 0 to F. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then A, B, C, D, E, F. Those are all the valid characters of this. And you'll see, that's as simple as that. We just changed our Grumpy Cat XUID. Here, let me show you in HXD. And you'll see 0, 0, 0, 9, 0, 0, 0, 0, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And it only changes this file. So if we go back to over here, uh, let's go back to any other thing in the sorted folder. You'll see it still has the default XUID. It only affects the file you selected. Uh, I did the grumpy cat hat, I believe. So what we're going to want to do when Horizon loads, uh, I don't think Horizon's going to load. So we're going to do this without opening the avatar items folder. You're going to see inject new file, uh, put in the path to your uh, file over here, and then just double click. And since I already have it installed, since I just installed absolutely everything, it'll it's going to ask me if I want to overwrite it. Uh, normally though this message would just pop up if you don't have it installed it'll say the following packages were successfully transferred and it'll be installed uh, we could check this by going to avatar items if you don't have too many installed but since I do I can check this by going to content 16 zeros and let's look for our grumpy cat ID fun fact about the content ID is that this is that the title ID is always the last eight characters so we've got the title ID right there just look that up and yep we have grumpy cat installed I just you guys probably should have checked for the content ID I'm gonna show you how to do that you just copy and paste and then and you just copy and paste. Here, copy that name. And then search. And you'll see we have the file. Alright, so our Grumpy Cat file is installed. If you plug this back into your Xbox and run it in the avatar closet, you'll see you have the Grumpy Cat installed. And that's how you use these tools. Just remember the raw files. This is all this is the raw files of the containers. You can't use this on your Xbox. Uh, the container sorted files. These are sorted like the raw files, but they contain the files you can use on your Xbox. And avatar items compiled files. This is just every single avatar item compiled, ready for a drag and drop into your Xbox after an XUID patch. Uh, if you're ever a bit confused or you just want to like look into this a bit more, I wrote a readme over here. And you'll see it gives instructions on how to use it, what the tools do, 
uh, contact information. So if you're ever a bit confused, uh, just look back to the video or just check out the readme. Enjoy.